one is Chris Garnsworthy, who's um, a community library service manager working for the London Borough of Hackney. And they're going to be talking about addressing challenges of housebound library services to the elderly. What I was going to um, talk about was the fact that we, um, in this rather unusual circumstance, had, um, had a decision to make. On the 23rd of March, we were, all the libraries were closed. Um, we ended up having, um, having to make a decision about the home library service. Um, for those who are not sure what the home library service is, it's, um, it's residents unable to get to the library in the usual way. It's normally mobility, old age, mental health, uh, physical uh, stuff, illness. Um, and we take round anything that the library could normally provide. So apart from the things I've listed, it's things like information as well. Down the bottom there's Mavis, that's on her 100th birthday. She's a, still a big reader. Um, and moving on then, so the, the decision was, how do, we, how do we move on from here? Um, the people we go to were all sheltering, all high risk. And there was a big split opinion as to whether libraries were essential or not, which is why I called this presentation that. So basically, we identified, because we've got uh, 600 service users, so we identified 230 who we felt were most in need of support. So that's who weren't in institutions or who weren't in, um, in you know, didn't have family, that sort of thing that we knew of. So uh, my team of five rang all 230 of those people to check in with them. Um, and in the meantime, my job was to do all the strategies and the risk assessment. So I was working with Public Health, Health and Safety Council to make sure that the service, um, if it could go out, went out would go out safely. Um, they were literally exhaustive um, uh, procedures and uh, forms but um, as I say we just needed to make sure that people were aware that the service was going to deliver safely. Um, so um, the measures that we took uh, we had to risk assess of the 230 we phoned exactly 130 decided they would like to take to take the risk as we called it at the time but um, it was like a, a chance, a chance really to speak to people who didn't want the service as well about why. So we risk assess everybody um, doing different roles rather than being one big team was, was, has been an issue. And then the digital divide, which is, it's a real, been a real challenge because most of our people, I think only 30 out of 600 had any online facility at all. So and nearly everything that comes out is online and every, every benefit is online and every audio book is, that's available <laughs> to people is online at the moment. So, you know, it was a real problem and elderly people in our experience, certainly in Hackney and in a city borough, uh, do not have, um, have uh, even mobile phones that take, you know, a lot of them got the very old fashioned sort of flip phones. Um, so very quickly then the results. Um, the most important thing for me and the absolute, um, the thing that's made me most proud is that 38 of the people we rang had no um, family, they weren't on the council radar, they hadn't, no one had approached them about food or medicine. So 38 of those people, because of the library, because of the staff and the library service, were identified as being in need by the council and now all get medicine picked up, they get regular deliveries of food. And um, that's, that's a real thing. One was just living on biscuits and it was really sad when we rang her because she hadn't seen anybody for ages. Uh, the regular phone calls have, uh, have enhanced the staff's relationship with the customers. They, they ring everybody every week now and uh, have a good chat about um, all sorts of things. Um, and the council itself has brought in, because we've got an elected mayor, and um, he joined in a, tele a telephone reading group session where we, we had like, all the housebound people who wanted to read the same book on the line, and the mayor read it and joined in as well. So that showed the council were buying in. Uh, dementia has been a huge problem um, because people with dementia don't, 
understand, or most of them don't understand what is going on. And uh, if they do, then they forget it maybe almost straight away. So uh, our dementia jigsaws, which we have, which are 13 piece um, wooden jigsaws that have been really popular for carers and people with dementia during this time as a, as a, a talking point and keep them busy. Sorry, I'm trying to rattle through now. Genuine thanks. Yeah, I mean, the, that's been an amazing thing from people. It's been a great result for us and the, the council recognising us. And gradually now we're increasing the service. People are, are buying into it more. Uh, and most of the people of the 230 are now having deliveries and we're able to expand that bit more to people in institutions, all those are problem locking down. Here's quotes, right. Um, you don't realize how comforting books are until you don't have them anymore. That was said to me by somebody who, who hadn't had the books for six weeks and who, whose daughter told me she just sat there holding the books to make her feel comfortable. So it makes you realize how important you are. Um, and then I got a letter telling me this bit's godly, this one, to shelter that an angel sent me you. So, and you saved me from the loneliest of times, even the wave from six feet made my month. So th these are people who often haven't seen people for a month. And then East End humour, I, I really like the second one actually, but yeah, you better come and get the book soon. I'm out of toilet paper and the books suddenly look even more appealing. This is a bit worrying. Um, and I've been housebound for 13 years, so this is a busman's holiday for me. And that was said to me by a 99 year old. And I just, I just love that. Right, so um, our service, just as very, very quickly, 70th anniversary last year, home visit library conference. We had the first ever one, which was supported by SILIP. And um, uh, those who, who weren't there, the service, we, we revealed uh, after many hours in the archives that we found this lady called Ivy White who started delivering to war invalids in Hackney from Shoreditch Library and those affected by the Blitz. So she started off the idea of housebound home visit libraries um, and the chief librarian at the time supported her. I have written a book about this or a pamphlet, which if anyone wants, I'm happy to send you a copy. But um, uh, basically things like collections in air, air raid shelters. And in a moment, I'll just show you a quote from C.M. Jackson during the war, which I, many people have compared the war to uh, what's going on at the moment. So this quote's quite good, but just a couple of pictures. That's our 500th book being delivered in 1940 something. I found that picture in the archive, rather a good one. Um, the service was called the Invalid Service at first, but apparently the sign on the door, the readers were saying, what's an invalid service? So it changed its name to the Housebound Library. And that's my favorite picture, which is the first ever housebound delivery van. And there he is, Sam Jackson, books for mental health, mental relaxation and on the educational subjects provide a nation with a sort of spiritual vitamin and are essential to national welfare as the other vitamins. So, you know, that gave us the reason if C.M. Jackson could say that during the war, then the vitamin of books to the people we're going to now made us realise that we were essential and that mental health and well-being was just as important as physical uh, well-being. And that's why we took the chance to, to take books to people in their homes. So that's that's me. Sorry I went on a bit too long, but um, the Dementia Friendly Jigsaws, the Telephone Reading Group, anything that I've mentioned, you can email me and I'll tell you about it. Um, and if you want to know more about us, we've got a couple of films on YouTube that we we made. Okay, thank you. Great, that was great. Really interesting to hear about the amazing difference you're making in the community.